For my project on space propulsion, I decided to research the use of momentum exchange tethers. Using rockets to transport objects in space has been used for over 50 years. However, the rocket fuel can be very expensive. Momentum exchange tethers is a much cheaper option of propulsion and transportation because it avoids the use of any type of fuel. As you can see in the picture, a tether system consists of a satellite and a tether that has the ability to attach to objects that are set into space, sent into space via rockets. Once the object is attached to the spinning tether system, energy and momentum are transferred from the system to the object. At a desired time, the object is then released from the tether, released from the tether system and sent into a higher energy orbit, while the trajectory of the satellite itself is altered to be angled more towards Earth. The satellite can then recover to its original energy level position, if need be, by using a little bit of fuel. This video illustrates how a tether system is used to transport objects in space. To start, a small rocket launches into space carrying an object that needs to be transported. Usually smaller rockets are used to avoid the use of large amounts of fuel. The object then detaches from the rocket and begins to orbit in space. The tether system then intersects the, ob intersects the object and attaches itself, launching it into a higher energy level orbit. Much precision is needed to ensure that the object and the tether system intersect at the proper time and location. This ensures that the energy and momentum can, can be transferred and the object can be transported in space. To recap, the main components of a moment exchange tether system include the satellite, the tether, the rocket, and an object. The system creates propulsion by transferring energy from the rotating moment exchange tether system to the object that, is, that needs to be transported. This system would be used over other types of propulsion systems when no fuel needs to be required or when an object needs to be transported over a long distance. Altitude, altitude adjustments can be made by changing the length of the tether or by altering the rotation rate of the satellite. One major issue with the use of momentum exchange tether systems is that the tether can be cut easily by orbital debris. Engineers are currently working to design a tether propulsion system that can withstand the onslaught of space debris and be used over a long period of time.